Good day, my name is Franco Ferrari and I'm here to show you how to remove and install spark plugs properly. The tools you need to complete this task are spark plug pliers, extension, preferably a flex head ratchet, some type of gapping tool, either a wire type or blade type, spark plug socket, torque wrench, anti-seize compound, and dielectric grease. Using the ignition wire or spark plug wire pliers, you grip the boot of the spark plug and you rotate it as you pull up. Never pulling on the ignition wire as it could separate from the boot. After you remove the spark plug boot, you'll note that the spark plug is directly underneath it. Next, you'll need to attach your extension to your ratchet and your spark plug socket to your extension. Place the spark plug socket down over top of the spark plug. Turning counterclockwise, loosen the spark plug three or four turns. At this point in time, you may want to blow out any dirt that may be settled around the spark plug as it can enter the combustion chamber and damage the engine. Remember, this is compressed air. Use your safety glasses and be careful. Next, you can completely remove your spark plug. Under every vehicle's hood, there is an emission sticker. You will find that it will say the gap of the spark plug written in millimeters. This one says 1.1 millimeters. Before installing and gapping your spark plugs, you may want to compare it to your chart. As noted, this spark plug is slightly carbon fouled. It may be caused by hard starting. There are many types of feeler gauges. You may prefer to use the wire type or the blade type. Doing so, you would set your feeler gauge to the 1.1 millimeter and place the two blades between the ground electrode and the center electrode. There should be some resistance. Some manufacturers make specialty tools to gap spark plugs. As you can tell from our scale, the gap is 1.2 millimeter, which is beyond manufacturer specifications. To adjust the gap, you bend the ground electrode in towards the center electrode. Next, you can regap your spark plug to 1.1 millimeter. Because our cylinder head is aluminum, I recommend putting a dab of anti-seize on the threads. I want to take a moment to point out the difference between a spark plug socket and a regular socket. Inside the spark plug socket, you'll see that there is a piece of rubber that holds the spark plug in place in the socket so that the spark plug does not fall out and change the gap or damage the spark plug. Next, place your spark plug back into the cylinder and turn the extension. Every manufacturer has a different torque specification. If we read this table correctly, we are installing a 14 millimeter spark plug into an aluminum cylinder head. Therefore, the torque would be anywhere between 17 and 22 foot-pounds. We need to set our torque wrench to 20 foot-pounds. Next, we torque our spark plug in until we hear our torque wrench click. The next step is to take a little bit of dielectric and put it into the spark plug boot. The last step is to push the spark plug boot over top of the spark plug until you feel or hear it click. And that's how you remove and install a spark plug. 